Hello. Uh, this is going to be a stormy night, I think. I've just battened down the hatches. So this week's video is action backed. I had to uh, make everything into a little montage. We've got some, uh, we've got a lot of bro counting. And at the end, if you can stay that long, uh, Olivia and I do a tour of the bedrooms. So stay tuned. Okay, a bientôt. Jam? Is that the jam one? Yeah, this one. Did the melon one? I wonder if they like refill them every day. Clearly not. <laughs> Look at this building, guys. It's incredible. We are in Narek at uh, what was once an old, it was a castle. Quite an extensive castle. And um, they have a scent museum, so you get to walk around and smell different smells of what life was like in uh, medieval times. And then we have to go through this little door. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, go stand in front of the thing. Should I do this one now? Okay, you're gonna be a girl. Girl with a mustache. Very pretty. Oh, wait, this one's funny. Smells. What's that? More oh, more smells. Okay. Can we guess what they are? That one 
smells perfumey. Oh, it might all be perfume. It says Hungary water is considered to be the first cologne in European history. The legend says Elizabeth, Queen of Hungary, used it to treat her rheumatism. And because of it, kept good health and beauty until her death. Okay, number two. Oh, I can smell it from here. Yeah, it's all just various perfume. And it all smells very old. <laughs> that one's actually rosemary, so that one should be obvious. Those are flower power powders, or does, from violets, iris, and musky roses used in medicine and cosmetics during the 16th century, both by women and men. <laughs> that one's rose water. They don't smell like rose? Uh, Does that hey, make sense? Yeah. What was that one again? Hungry water. Hungry water. Hungry, like the country. Hungry, right. Not hungry. I like, mm, I'm hungry. I can't remember what that, that one was rosemary. Yeah. They could definitely load that up with some fresh rosemary. I think they did. Yeah. I think I kind of saw it in there. I don't think it's fresh though. Because it's, I think it's taken on the smells of the other boxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like rose water either. Okay, go get in that. <laughs> nice. They probably didn't wear big thick glasses in this one. <laughs> they probably didn't have mustaches either. I think this one's probably better. You gotta get behind this one. <laughs> okay, you gotta. There you go. <laughs> it kind of suits you. I think you would have done well as a Renaissance man. Yeah. Here are all the names of the uh, the clothing items. Look, that's where the that's where the Canadian toque comes uh, from. Toque. <laughs> Interesting. Here's this one arm of the museum that we were just in. And originally there was, you can see the crack here where they've torn it down, but it would have gone all the way around and all the way along here as well. And then there was a gate here uh, like a, with a drawbridge and everything. And over here, you come over here and you can see the river from here. It's amazing, all those gargoyles have like, some of them have worn away in the rain and stuff. But just beyond there is the river going along here. See the bridge? And that's where the food festival was when we were here. Back to the narrow cunt. We're here again. Checking out what they've got. <laughs> Not too much has changed. These are cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
without him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Quel est le prix uh, de la le, le petite table avec le meuble? Oh. 380. Table bouillotte. 300. 300. Oui, oui. 300? Oui. 300. 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 At the outdoor crazy brocante. This is so exciting and it seems to be open. So, oh my god, where to begin? Where to begin? There's all these amazing statues. Where to begin? Get the discus thrower. <laughs> Ooh, look at this little bench. Okay, I think we have enough benches there. Mm-hmm. Huh. So these. 1200 for four pieces. Hmm. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, yeah. It's Bacchus. It's the same guy that's on oh, our floors. This would be sick in the garden. Oh, yeah. A little gazebo. I don't even know how you get that up. I don't know either. Where do you want to find it? Can you smash it? Yeah, I don't, I don't need an angel statue. Here. What was the statue that you were wanting to get? I don't know. I think that was Olivia who wanted the big angel. Twenty five hundred for the two pieces. Hmm. The Brubalicious statue. Kind of wouldn't mind some of these pots here. I want to go see if we can uh, go inside. I haven't been inside his shop yet. Is that a Nino statue? A Nino statue. It is a Nino statue. I wonder what it's made of. Steel. Gosh. Pretty cool. Nina, when the fire truck goes by, like the lions. I like this statue. Is that weird of me? They have chipmunks playing instruments. <laughs> An emaciated cow. 
<rire> wow, Valerie. C'est très bon. Wow. This looks amazing. Yep. Très bien. Wow, wow. Exciting. Okay, here's a little snapshot. <laughs> the glamour of garbage pails for both bathrooms and bedrooms. The reality of having everything shipped. The, uh, the unpacking of the chandelier station and <laughs> the result of the unpacking of the chandelier station. So uh, right now I'm missing a very large box of light bulbs that I got for all of the chandeliers. So that's my next problem. And then I uh, bought a whole bunch of candles <laughs> for the fireplace, but they're all a lot smaller than they look on Amazon. So hello, anyhow. And then we got this amazing new mirror. So that's fun. And um, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. It's uh, an assembly line. <laughs> Getting all the little things done now. So, all right. Well, I thought I had the third floor all sorted out, but <laughs> we're rearranging beds, taking them all apart and putting them all back together again into different rooms. Oh la la. So here we go. This is what we're doing. <laughs> okay, another bric-a-brac run. <laughs> we're in the town of Premiac, which is uh, kind of near Bordeaux actually. And uh, we've been here before. This is where I got the tapestry. There's astute viewers who remember. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what we got today. Twenty euros, perfect. Is it wrong for me to unplug it? <laughs> oh yeah. What about that pink chair? It's really cute. Okay, 160 euros. That's pretty decent. What about this little table? What about the table it was on? Oh no. I like this wrong one. Get any coffee table. Here, why don't you put that over there on that little table, the other one? Any of these lamps up here, Liv? There's a chinoise. Like the chinoise one? No. Okay. Well, oh, that'd be cute. What is it? I don't know. Maybe it's for salt? Okay, here's our little collection. She's giving me a price, hopefully a good price for everything. We've got all these lamps, this amazing little table, this pink chair, and a bunch of um, inexpensive tableaus and pictures. So we'll see what we come up with. <laughs> all right, we're in the second brocante. <laughs> Olivia's found a cane. <laughs> Oh yeah, those Please, are pretty. for the rest of the time. Ooh, I like that. Those two rounded pictures. Oh, they are nice. 68. I don't know how much this one is. This one's actually... Where? Oh yeah, look at that. It's not hard. Oh, I don't think we wound up with the, uh, the wolf. Huh. 
kept moving things. That was weird. It's pretty loud in your room, but I feel like we have some. Yeah, I got three of them here. This is where I got the wash stands. They have really good pictures here, I have to say. My screen chair could be for the jasmine room. Ooh, yeah. That is really pretty. Okay, we'll find out. She'll get, she's gonna have to deliver them for me though. These are cute too. Oh, that's pretty. That would be really pretty with the green marble in the green room. And I love this little lamp. And the matching. Oops, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, okay. Wow, it's 180 though. But it comes with these things. Oh, does it? <gasps> wow, that's something. Oh, I love this picture. Ooh, I like that picture, that lady. Oh. <laughs> that one's only 56 euros. I quite love that one. Do it. 24 euros, the, the pair. I think yeah, I'll take those. Like 24 now. each. I'll take those. It's huge. Seven fifty. Ooh, it's in pretty rough shape. I don't, where would we even put that? Oh, on that big wall? Mm -hmm. It's not wide enough though. We need a wide one. There's, no, there's another wall that's smaller. Oh. Oh, this would be cute for one of the bird rooms. Hey, we found a new brocante. Well, it's an antique store. When they call themselves antique stores, they're generally more expensive, but it's pretty cute. Oh my gosh, this desk is lovely. 450. Is that for the desk or for the hatch? Uh, looks like the desk itself is 350 plus another 450 for the hatch. Wow, it's really gorgeous. I found the desk that Olivia's gonna want. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> How much is it? Oh, just $4.50. It's four fifty for the hutch, three fifty for the desk. Oh. <laughs> that adds to an already expensive day. Yeah. <laughs> Your first golf club. <laughs> And it's an Maybe antique. Like 1915. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's real ivory, you know? Yeah. Is this real? Yeah, it would be real ivory. That's probably. Yeah, given its age. Oh, okay. That is something. King of the Castle. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> yes, you might. It's feeling quite expensive. Wow, it's coach. cute. Coach? Coach. Wow. This is such a cute coach bag. It's a dream bag. <laughs> yeah, it's, it does look like coach. Okay, a big day in Brocantland. This is the hall today. So we've got this amazing painting. We've got this incredible table. I just love this table. And 
couple of lamps, a little dish, a really cute pink chair. Matt got the ivory cane, which has a spike on the end. We got one more sh chandelier. Can you show them what I got? Yes, everybody wants, Olivia wants everybody to see that she got a 1980s era Yves Saint Laurent jacket. She is very happy about it. <laughs> her mom is losing her mind, trying to frame some pictures. It's 9.44 a.m. and I would say we are overall unwell. <laughs> She's now decided that it's too low. So, well, let's also a How are we doing? Huh? How are we doing? My least favorite task. the day you've been waiting for. A tour. Come with me. <laughs> you should be going this whole thing. Are we doing downstairs? Do you want to do downstairs? It's, it's a mess. Well, what if we ask everyone to use their little imaginations and imagine? Because okay. it's changed a lot since a year ago. True. And I'm sure people would like to see Okay. Okay, come with me. Let's start. Where should we start? The green room? Green room's the messiest about everything. Well, then let's start there. Uh huh. All right, everyone. Like I said, please use your imagination. This is the green room. This is where we intend to have yoga with Haley during the retreat. Back, you got it. $400 ivory tusk came yesterday at Bacon, so... And we can't get it on the plane. There is no way. Okay, so that is the green room. Yes. We want to do like a drippy candle moment in the fireplace and have like candles of different heights and just make it a big wax mess in there. I think it'll look really cool and romantic. This is... This is the pile of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is like the living room. Um, we've been like trying different orientations. Oh, we need to move that rug to that one for. <laughs> um, but I styled the mantle the other day. We have pictures this morning. Um, and this mirror has been partially repaired by Olivia, so it's looking a lot better than it was. We're actually thinking now of taking. The big new mirror that we bought in the other room and putting it over here. Yeah, it'll look way better. It'll yeah, look I think it'll better. look really nice there. And my goal and dream for this room is just gaudy. I want it to be as gaudy <laughs> as possible. My mom's not down, but for example, yesterday we were in a Bracon and I saw this marvelous table that had glass with two swans holding it up with their necks. My mom said no. I nixed it. I nixed the swan table. It would have looked cool. <laughs> okay, not much has changed in the dining room. Olivia wants a lot of changes in the dining room, I'm but really I like the dining room. room but. I'm very, very excited. My vision involves peacocks. Peacock wallpaper, to be exact. She was. She was wallpaper, basically, right? Kind of, but it's more of like a mural with the peacock, like a big, poofy peacock. Okay, right. And then we'll see. Fabric, upholstery on the chairs, and then um, the rest will come as we see with the wallpaper. We don't know exactly which one we want yet. Also, not much has changed in here. It's still messy. Office, please. The walls in here make me <laughs> nauseated. Yeah. I think if we can just, even if we just change the wallpaper right away, you yeah. know. But, but this room has the best molding, so I think once we're mm -hmm. done, it's going to be beautiful in here. Yeah, it'll just be really like pretty. wall moldings here, even just painted white. Like, I think this room just needs to be airy and beautiful. Also, can everyone please help me convince her 
to do some nice curtains <laughs> down here. Thank you. Would love curtains. Okay. I'm not a curtain gal, what can I tell you? There's been a lot of change to the kitchen in terms of renovation. As you can see, we have new cabinetry with beautiful new handles. We have an espresso machine. For, yeah. for me, who doesn't drink coffee. So. She's like repulsed by the, even the odor of coffee. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these sinks. Except they don't swivel. They don't swivel. But, but there you go. And then it's going to be a problem here. This was, my mom's probably explained it in another vlog. I have, yes. Taken wood from the cave and put it here. And we still have to do all the backsplash. Yeah. Oh, a I'll just show. This is, this is how the backsplash is sort of going to work. Oh, yeah. I think it'll look really good with the floors. Mm -hmm. And then we need some suggestions on lighting. I feel like we should go more modern than the light fixtures we've been, like we've been doing chandeliers. But in here, I think it deserves a more modern moment. Right, well, we did get these little lights, which are quite pretty. Yeah. I think gold, it definitely has to carry through with the gold, whatever. Yeah, I think so too, with the taps and now the gold little fixtures. And then we are back in the foyer. Let's go upstairs, shall we? <laughs> I'll try and edit out your hiccup. Okay. First landing area. We have a large dresser of towels. Linens. And linens and such. And then we have the slightly different sofa. Yes, with linens that I still need to fold. And bathrobes for the retreat people. And then on this landing side, uh, it's a hot mess, but you get by. We want to fill the bookshelf with cool books that go with the vibe, but also books that people really maybe want to read. And then yesterday I got two horse book stoppers. Uh, like book, en book ends. Book ends yep. with like a, a gold bridle on them, which is right. Okay, should we go this way? Okay. Okay. Is your room tidy? <laughs> okay, use your imaginations. Okay, like I said, we wanted them to be more styled, but alas, this is a twelve room. Okay, baby. We need a. We definitely need a big mirror there. I think. I think that one, that one was meant for the hall because it's long and narrow. I'm going to put it sideways in the hall, but maybe one of the ones uh, that we have downstairs can fit fit yeah. on that wall. I mean, it looked so good when it was just that there. But mm -hmm. So. And then some pictures. Yeah. And maybe another mirror here. And definitely another like light on the desk. Yeah. And on that. On that table. table. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is my room. Again, <laughs> use your imagination. What do you think? This is the last hour of Olivia's visit, so <laughs> say hi, Matt. Say hi to Hello. YouTube. <laughs> this is the beautiful mirror we hung. That's your chair. This is also the picture that we hung. The room. We hung? <laughs> you hung. <laughs> Very cute. Um, what else? Yeah, this room is just the princess room. It's blue. It's that chair you've stolen from. Yeah, I stole it. It's gonna go upstairs though. I know. I know. Not your favorite. Okay. I don't think much has happened in yeah. these rooms. Uh, this room. Uh, we Yeah, this room hasn't changed a whole lot. We have a new carpet that sort of goes with the bed. This will be where you go away. We decided it looked like um, a print of cigarette smushes. What would you call that? A cigarette print? No. Okay, third floor. Third floor is where all the change has been. <laughs> no, we shouldn't do my room. My room is... Not even a work in progress. Oh, yeah. I want to show my vision. Okay, this room to me is, we were trying to figure it out. It's already blue and it already has stripes, and I honestly like it. I think that it just needs an update. 
To me, this room is very like androgynous. It's fun, it's young. So I wanted to like carry in with a different shade of blue with a skinnier stripe all throughout all the walls and like maintain that blue vibe in here. And this room is by far like the most cool with the air when you open the windows and just in general because the sun's not beating into it. So I love this room. It may at some point though, be taken up like here so that it will give you a bathroom for your, an ensuite bathroom for your. But I have a window too for the bathroom. Yeah, the wall would go here. Wow. So it would make this room smaller. It might become my studio. There's a, there's a few possibilities for this. This bathroom changed quite a bit. And this yeah. is where I was thinking of hanging this oval mirror in, st in place of this. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the floors are way better. Yeah, the floors, uh, Bruce did the floors just with click flooring. Okay, let's go to the third floor where we made by far the most progress in a very short period of time. <laughs> there was this, a lot of taking apart and putting back together beds. This skull got plastered. It was like crumbling rock floor. Yep, it's looking so, really good. I have to paint it. Continue to use your imagination up here. We're going to have light. Shanda, sorry, chandelier. chandelier. Placed here, so look. Pretty landing. And then let's go to here. So this bedroom, I'm so on this side of things, these bedrooms have me more stump than the other ones. Purely, I think we figured it out because the walls here have these like have weird stains on them. It's making me feel like they're dirty. And so it's hurting my brain trying to style them. But I like and also there's gonna be a chandelier here. But I like Here's this color. Chandelier. I think we should maintain the mustard, kind of yellow, maybe like a canary yellow on the wall. I think this is just a bit too intense and like, I don't love it. I think it needs to be a little bit more delicate, ultimately in here with in a lighter yellow. Um, and I found a few ideas on the wallpaper site we were looking at. So that's this room and then, this is the second room, also has me kind of stuff, but it's better. This is like the sage room, or is it the jasmine? Jasmine. Jasmine room. Again, the walls have this stain on them, so I'm like ugh, annoyed. But look at the rug. We're gonna, we got this really cool green um, vintage chair with like a green stripe, and that will go here. It's like a green cream satin stripe on the chair. It's, really it's gonna be, it's gonna, I think it's all gonna come. I think I'm excited about this room actually, yeah. even with the green wallpaper. Yeah. Um, and I may just even take down this wallpaper and then paint it, paint it a green or something. Yeah, yeah, like a sagey, mm -hmm. cute. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, so. Oh, I've got I, the wallpaper came, and so this week I get to try my hand at putting up wallpaper for the very first time in my whole life. The bed previously in this room was like this red and gold bed, and it just clashed so bad with the wallpaper, so we had to switch it out with the blue one, and then added in this nice desk with the matching like blue chair to tie in the blue again. And then I brought in this yellow chair of time with the left yellow lemons. So I'm a fan of, this is probably my favorite room upstairs, I think. If I were to paint these walls, should I do them in the yellow, you think? No, they, I, they don't bother me. Oh, uh, leave them? I okay. like them, yeah. I like them for now. Let's see All how right. the rest of the wall. I was thinking of matching the blue and the bird. Yeah, if anything, I would say that because these are more of like a Tiffany blue and that's like, that's like my favorite color, blue, so I'm <laughs> As you tell, I like blue. Okay, this room, this room is pretty like toned down. We need to get um, a- Another bedside table. Another okay. bedside table and also kind of something to store clothing in, some mm -hmm. brackage. We have desks that we moved in. There's definitely some pictures on the wall. And we have a chandelier that's really home. So mm -hmm. it's coming along. I like everything in it. More masculine. This room is like a feminine bedroom of it. Um, Needs a desk, also needs a dresser wardrobe thing. Um, but we switched out the bed that was originally in here for this one, and you'll see why. Oh. And uh, switched out this carpet for this one. And you'll see why. So, now I'm all these lights. Yes, and I had a, a spillage. So, new carpets for the hall, coming okay, up. This room, 
I've been calling the grandma room. Why, you might ask? Because of the beds. The beds in this room had me um, frazzled. <laughs> but basically, these two beds were in completely different rooms, and I was like, these two need to be in here because they're the same, like, style, where it's like, -li 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 -li. like, they're the exact same. How do I explain this? They're the same style. They're the same style. So... We need a new carpet in here. Yeah, red, gold kind of vibe carpet. The desk. So we need some kind of like rack hanging situation to hang clothing. But I think this room is on its way. And then we have downstairs a mirror that goes on top of this. And we're going to paint gold. I'm going to paint gold. You're going to paint gold. I've got so much to do. Um, and then these are the two chandeliers. That, and they don't match, but I like that they don't match because the beds don't match either. That's the grandma room. This is it's the Le Pan room. It's the rabbit room. This is Payon. This is the um, peacock room. Also tying kind of This is the wallpaper that will go in here, which I'm pretty excited about this one. So like, has that kind of pinky lilac that ties well into the carpet. And then that royal blue that's on the peacock that brings in the bed. Like that goes together. It'd be cute to get like a magenta pillow to throw on top of like mm -hmm. the yep. And then we have the desk here. Again, we probably need to get a dresser or a wardrobe as well. And this mirror is like completely not functional. <laughs> yeah, you can't really see yourself in this. This is one of those Eric, Eric ones. So. That's all the rooms. That's all the rooms. I don't think we need to do the bathrooms again. They're all pretty much the same. Yeah. All right, we done? Yeah. Okay, abiento. Oh, everybody's leaving. Bye, mm, mommy. Bye. Oh, Thank you for everything. oh you're so welcome. Bye, you. Bye, mama. Bye, love you. Oh. Yep. Everything. Yeah, it's really fun. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna miss you. I'll see you soon. Yeah. See you in a few months. Bye.